So everyone knows that Miss Fortune is broken right now. She got buffed when she didn't need one, but I still see a lot of players building Collector and I think it's a suboptimal item and I think there's one that's better. In this video, we're going to watch a replay from Kobe, who is an AD carry who plays in the LEC. And I know it's becoming a meme on this channel, but the item is Bloodthirster. You can see the gameplay in the background is a game where Kobe builds BT. And he does this, and you will see in some of the fights, he is basically untouchable because of how much he heals and how much damage he does. Bloodthirster, I think, has been underrated for a long, long time. This item second gives a lot of AD carries the safety they need, whilst letting them build offensive items like Kraken Slayer. I think on Misfortune specifically, Bloodthirster is very, very good second because you want to build now crit. You don't want to be building lethality. You don't want to be building AP, so you're forced into a crit build, and the best mythic to go is normally Kraken Slayer. Following on from that, there's not really many options that Misfortune wants. She doesn't want really attack speed items early because she wants to be hitting like hydrogen bombs. She doesn't want to have attack speed. She just wants to deal a lot of damage with the attacks that she does do. Just to clarify, the reason that she doesn't want attack speed items, which I think a lot of people underlook, is because Misfortune has a lot of attack speed with her W and her Berserker Greaves. But aside from this, Misfortune is, at her core, she is a caster ADC. She is going to be casting abilities in between hitting auto attacks, which other champs aren't really going to be doing as often, such as Jinx or Twitch. Which this makes AD on her a very, very valuable stat more than attack speed, for example. So therefore, you're kind of forced into an AD item, but you don't really have that many options. You have maybe Collector, Essence Reaver, um, LDR, but none of these items compare to what Bloodthirster gives you. You're, you're gonna want Lifesteal on Misfortune just because of how she heals so much from the Lifesteal that you actually give her. Every auto is dealing a metric fuck ton of damage, therefore you're going to heal a metric fuck ton of damage as well. It also gives her high, high amounts of AD and crit, which she are both stats that she really, really wants right now, as well as a shield. Having the shield as well is very nice in case someone dives you like a Kha'Zix. It's good into Assassins, which is Misfortune's weakness, right? Patching up that weakness with stats that she likes is, is a great item, in my opinion. There are a lot of pro players building this, and I see a lot of common Misfortune players who are picking her up because she's OP this patch, not building it. And I think that it's a great item for when you want safety and you can't build Collector. Honestly, personally, I'm never building Collector. I think that item is really, really bad unless there are like five squishy champs, zero bruisers. Like, I just don't ever think that item is worth it it just staggers your actual power spike i would much rather even build phantom dancer or fire cannon on misfortune rather than collector because at least it's going to be cheaper than collector and i'll still hit my ie power spike mf is for sure the best adc right now though by the seams of it like she is uh, we're only a few days into the patch but she is so dominant with a high win rate she's an awful character to play against it she's just a really good champ that i suggest you pick up she's not very hard but she has a high skill ceiling i think for like knowing where to position with your alts and things definitely worth picking up for the patch even if it's just flavor of the month definitely worth picking up and i think that building on her is important and i think you should be building bloodthirster second in most games you're gonna want to run these runes here pta presence of mind bloodline and either cut down or coupe de gras and i personally run biscuits boots for the sustain in lane and because you don't need boots early on mf with your w you're gonna want to max your q w e and then put points in your r when you can aside from that hopefully i kept this pretty short so you can get back into playing league and you can have a little bit of info at least on your champ before you start playing it thanks for watching hit hit like subscribe comment comment uh let's think of a fruit banana this comment is banana if you watch the whole way through uh, thanks for watching guys peace